is walking with God is a risk. I repeat, walking with God is a risk. When God calls you, the assignment is follow me. Follow me means trust me. You cannot follow who you don't trust. Follow me means trust me. I may not know where you are taking me, oh God, where are we going? And he says, follow me. Just be sure I'm before you. Welcome to Kingdom Mirrors TV. On this channel, we post edifying content for your spirit and daily living. Kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification to get notified each time we post. Thank you, stay blessed, and enjoy this video. Walking with God is a risk. I repeat, walking with God is a risk. When God calls you, the assignment is follow me. Follow me means trust me. You cannot follow who you don't trust. Follow me means trust me. I may not know where you are taking me, oh God, where are we going? And he says, follow me. Just be sure I'm before you. If you are following something else, don't say I'm the one you are following. Just be, verify. Once you see me in front of you, keep following. How do you call a man, Genesis 12, out of awe of the Chaldeans, an idol worshiper, and you tell him, come out of your father's house, come out of your kindred. That is the entire span of his life. And he says, Go, follow me to a land that I will show you. The land has no name. Follow me to a land that I will show you. When God is revealing his will, he will never tell you everything. Mm -mm. There must be a part of your followership that will, that will necessitate faith. To a land that I will show you. And the Bible says, Abraham began his journey. Abraham, where are you going? You are not young. Are you frustrated? Call a doctor. Because he has not had a child for a long time. Maybe it's some psychological issue. And said, no. And he continued going like a fugitive. The end of that obedience is that he earned a title, the father of nations, Abraham. The earth was willed to him. Do you know what it means to give you the earth? Can I tell you this, hear me? There are many of you, you will never step into the experience of that which you desire until your heart is willing to be surrendered. Many of us, your heart is still hardened. It has to be my way. God, leave whatever you are doing and come here. It must be my way. Ah. Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be? Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, you must discern and understand the will of God. It does not make sense. I remember many years ago, we were preparing. In fact, I was even considering at that time moving to this same Abuja that we are now. Tired of Zaria, was on my way, and I remember I woke up in the morning like every other day, happy, this is the Lord's day, Thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing. And immediately the Lord called me for a retreat. And I went straight for a retreat. And that was when the Lord told me, that which I've told you, that koinonia, now is the time to start it. Lord, in Zaria, yes, sir. That from this place, the nations will come and meet you here. Where are the resources? How much do I have, oh God? In this place where they can burn you any day, they can come and ambush you. Yes, sir. That is a place. You see, let me tell you something. You can argue, you can cry, but obey. Because, ah, something is happening to someone here. God is ministering to someone already. You may cry, but obey. It may not make sense. It is a risk. A greater risk when you disobey. Listen very carefully to what I'm saying. I remember that time. 
after that retreat I said Lord so this is it how long will I be in Zaria no answer I've told you enough to start in your obedience I will meet you later and I will discuss this is not the last time you will meet with me and with the foolishness of obedience the venue where will get the venue because what I was seeing in my visions I was seeing an overflow I said Lord where will this thing come from the auditorium that we were using that, that we started using at that time it was small but what I saw in my vision was an expanded one I said no I didn't know they would later expand that place and so we took a step of faith Lord if this thing fails let it fail at least let it fail in your hand I remember the first service my first sermon was ancient parts Is God speaking to someone surrender through crisis in Zaria you would think after crisis you would just pack up and say God I'm okay I've tried you too you saw that I almost died mm -mm. right there and true to his word from that place that lowly estate that he brought the nations right to that place remarkable manifestations of his power and that would only be the beginning After many years, ah, you will learn a lot this night. Just be patient with me. You will learn that the destiny speakings of God does not happen every day. One of the things I'm going to be teaching you is discern the seasons of God speaking. There are periods when the angel came and stirred the water. It's not every time. Some of you is during your birthday. Some of you is during the end of the year. You have to discern how God speaks to you very careless believers can be so careless when the season where there are there are seasons where his voice for your destiny always comes please sit down sit down sit down i remember i returned back from a meeting and i just placed my head to rest in my living room and i started seeing visions of Abuja I said no no God this is what is this one again I had become so emotionally connected to Zaria no matter where around the world I am I would not be satisfied till I return back home you would see me smiling as though they they put place a charm on me when I'm returning back home I had found so much satisfaction I was more than happy to build and settle and serve God and then the call came three years not just struggle in disobedience but verification if you ask me i probably would not say it's abuja that i will come to lord where will i go maybe just or somewhere or another nation somewhere but the lord brought, if you notice the the flyer that introduced koinonia to abuja you will see the map of the city it is because of the vision that i saw lord is this what you are doing I know your will let me tell you this if it is the will of God bar he will go so far to make sure your confidence once your heart is ready to obey Gideon kept asking questions okay make this wet and make this dry the angel did it make this dry and make the, he did it provided you are going to go and fight everybody says surrender what is surrender in this case? The willingness to enthrone his will above your own. The willingness to enthrone his will above yours. As a proof that you trust him. As a proof that you trust him look at me can I tell you sincerely some of you are in ministry some of you are in business generally everybody seeks to move to the next chapter 
the next chapter of your destiny will depend on your willingness not just to hear God but to submit to his will I will go I will go anywhere you lead me I will go I will go I will go anywhere you lead me I will go the will of God many of us here the Lord brought you to this service tonight to finally break that hardness of heart why have you allowed your destiny to peg three years five years do you not know that when you try it is so sweet to trust in Jesus you know that song it's worth just, just to rest upon, upon his promise just, just to, to know, know to say the Lord Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I prove Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust. One more time. Oh, for grace to trust in God. Hear me. If anyone told you trusting God is easy, tell them they lied. They don't know anything. You are not trusting God till you cry. Believe me. If your tears don't join you in that trust, it's not God that spoke to you. There are things God will tell you that it will be like resetting your life again. It's like your entire life's labor is about to be thrown to the drain. Can I tell you? You may weep, but please don't stop till we look just like you. We may cry, but please don't stop till our lives look like you. God is leading mighty man in this place oh yeah he's directing man of power in this place he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him for someone god is telling you for as long as you cannot trust me, you will keep seeing your breakthrough and yet never enter. Take the risk and say, God, if I perish, I perish. If I perish, I perish. If I perish, I perish. Surrender. Shalabaranda Skodibia. At the other side of surrender is glory. At the other side of surrender is power. At the other side of surrender is grace. Surrender. Enthroning his will above yours. You've heard me say it. If I hear God and he says, shut down this ministry now, sincerely I tell you by God, this ministry will be shut. And people will call and say, Apostle, you, you are blessing me. Why would you do that? Provided it is God. When your heart is surrendered by, you are ready to do business with God in this kingdom. You will command power. You will command authority in this kingdom the will of God is only necessary to those and for those who are surrendered the willingness to obey I have made a choice 
to listen for your voice wherever you may lead me i will go you're the shepherd of my soul i give you full control wherever you may lead me i will go and i have made a choice to listen for your voice wherever you may lead me i will go go and read the stories of the generals you talk about john lake that some of these people at the time they were joining the queue to enter the nations that they will evangelize they had no idea how will i eat how will i feed how will my children feed I just know he sent me and while they stand there they would tell you that as they stood there someone just came and said are you John Lake are you so 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 God asked me to stand and wait for you here you know why we don't hear these testimonies again in our world because we are too scientific give me guarantees I'm not teaching you to be foolish but believe me the risk factor of destiny as far as hearing God there is no civilization that will take it away go and read your Bible follow modern history people who left their place to another place foolishly because God said so and can I tell you you would think because you arrived at the place he sent you you may see the result immediately yeah if it's this God of heaven bar you will wait sometimes for a long time Lord I'm here now he says just wait there I we will end up this discussion tonight where I will teach you the mystery of the silence of God sit down someone shall surrender you are not saying it to me you are saying it so that your spirit man will hear surrender businessman only God knows how far you would have gone today if you learn to surrender I remember one time when this ministry started God gave an instruction it came by the voice of God to just empty the account and swear everything there was not much then but everything meant something knowing it was God with childlike obedience 